Manchester United are back in Premier League action on Saturday night. This time we travel to Stoke City, the Bet365 Stadium, for a half-five kickoff on Saturday evening. As I said, three wins out of three against West Ham, Swansea and Leicester City. Man United flying high at the moment after an international break where, thank God, we didn't get any injury concerns. Jose Mourinho has got a full squad to pick from. Will he make any changes to the team that has started the season so very, very well. Here is my predicted 11 to start against Stoke. As you can see, of course, our man David De Gea starting in goal. Will he have a busy day? Will Peter Crouch be sending headers in left, right and centre? I don't think De Gea will be too busy, but if he is, he'll be fine to cope with it. I think Man United will keep a clean sheet in this game for what it is worth. Right back, Antonio Valencia. I don't see him not starting many Premier League games this season. I think he'll start pretty much all of them. Now, Bailly and Jones, I'm keeping them as a centre-back partnership. What a start to the season it has been for Phil Jones. I think at this point now, we can start talking about it because I don't want to jinx it, but Jones has been playing so very, very well. Play well for England too. He deserves the credit when it is due and it is absolutely due right now. He is arguably outshining Eric Bailly, who's also playing very, very well. Excellent centre-back partnership. We'll see Victor Lindelof make his debut against Basel in the Champions League. And Smalling will play too because both Bay and Jones are suspended. But let's keep this partnership going in the Premier League. Do not change it. Left-back, I'm going for Daly Blind. I personally don't want to start Daly Blind there. But until Luke Shaw is fit and ready to play, I think Blind's going to be playing there every single game. Not Matteo Darmian, which is a bit of a surprise to me. Now, midfield duo. I'm going for a midfield two here in a 4-2-3-1. Pogba and Matic, it's working, why change it? Pogba and Matic in that midfield duet, they seem to work with each other. Matic is going forward a little bit more than I thought he would. I thought he would be a purely defensive midfielder. He's showing me he's got a hell of a lot more to his game than just to be a midfield bruiser. Great forward runs on the edge of the box, through balls, fantastic, but his defensive duties, he doesn't ignore them. That is his priority and he's doing that very well. And of course, he's freeing up Paul Pogba to do what he's doing best. An outstanding start to the season for Paul Pogba. And people are going to realise that he is a bargain at 89 million if Neymar's 220 million and Mbappe's 186 million. Pogba for 89 million, bargain. I think he'll score again against Stoke. That's another bet for me. Uh, now, I'm going for a little bit of a change in my front four. I'm going for probably Marcus Rashford on the right hand side, Mikatarian through the middle. Martial out on the left and Lukaku up front. So I'm dropping Mata from the team and I'm starting both Martial and Rashford. The reason I'm doing that is because I think Stoke will sit deep in numbers and I think Man United will need the pace to break that down. We've got the creativity with Pogba and Mkhitaryan. That's why you don't need Mata. And someone like Mkhitaryan is far more capable at bringing the ball forward in midfield than Mata is. Mata's better at receiving the pass, turning and spraying a pass out. Mkhitaryan's much better at breaking through the lines with his pace. I think that's where he actually saw the best of Mkhitaryan in the preseason, when he had the ball at his feet and he was running at a defence. I think that's, I want to see that against Stoke. That's my own personal opinion. You may disagree, let me know in the comments below. Martial out on the left, Rashford out on the right. Rashford's got a start, outstanding for England in the international break. And I want to keep Martial in the team. So I'm putting them both on, on the wings. Let me know what you think about that. And up, up front, of course, it's him. Romelu Lukaku, the man who has started the season so very, very well, doing what we all hoped he would do. And fingers crossed he continues that against Stoke City on Saturday. That is my predicted 11 for the game. Make sure you check out my preview, which will be up on the channel tomorrow. Drop a like on the video if you want. Subscribe to United People's TV if you are new. There's lots of content coming out all the time, so make sure you subscribe. Take it easy. We'll see you soon.